loves. What the fuck? Why does it look like a saw? Sorry, Tori. It looks like it's kind of... The fuck? <laughs> hey, baby. How you doing? Hey, baby. How you doing? Taurus, let's see what's going on in the energy for Taurus. Now, please understand, this may not resonate with every single Taurian, okay? Really, these factors try to come out. Oh, codependency. Ooh. Taurus, um, this is not one size fits all on just my channel, okay, baby? As you all know, okay, Taurus? Let's see what the energy is for you guys. Bring in somebody's deep feelings or hidden feelings about you, Taurus. You may not give a damn. If you don't give a damn, you may exit, okay? This could be a new person, a past person, whatever's in your energy, all right? This may resonate on 10, this may resonate at 1. It don't matter, baby, okay? Thank you guys so much for the likes, share, subscribes, the likes, the dislikes, the unsubscribe, whatever you're doing, baby. Just come as you are, come as you feel. I love you, Taurus, I do. Let's see, baby. Trust in the reverse. Somebody didn't trust their inner in their inner guidance, their, in, their inner compass about you. Mm. What's that leading to, spirit? Engagement. Somebody went towards somebody else and probably got engaged or went to another commitment, not listening to their intuition. True love. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, reconciliation. Yep, Taurus, somebody sees you as their true love, babe, okay? They didn't trust their intuition and they went towards something else, okay? Try to get engaged somewhere else. Um, they had a love that was ascending to a higher commitment, but they were not really truly in love with that person, Okay? So you have somebody here, Taurus, that wants to reconcile with you, babe. All right? Yeah, look, they're trying to free themselves from whatever they're in. And very soon, Taurus, you'll be getting a message or something, Taurus, because the attraction and the chemistry is so strong between you and this person. It is safe for them and it's safe for you to love each other because this person is understanding now, Taurus, that they have romantic feelings about you. You guys might be coming, coming from different religious backgrounds, okay? But the attraction and the chemistry is so strong. Very soon, this person is going to free themselves from some type of commitment they're in or engagement they're in reconcile with who you their true love they didn't trust their inner guidance before taurus they didn't trust it before oh man now they wish to god they had okay okay person what's up yeah look there we go trust again in the reverse and pride and the upright they didn't want to listen to themselves hmm maybe somebody went towards somebody else uh, and committed to them because they thought they had something better Taurus, I know that sounds very, like, you know, shitty, but, I mean, you know what I mean? Humans. Humans. <laughs> Let's see, baby. Freedom. <sighs> My cars don't lie, baby. They don't lie. My spirit guys don't lie. Freedom. Somebody's trying to get free from something. They feel like, Taurus, you're free. You're freedom to them. Taurus, what I feel here, my loves, okay? Not one size fits all. What I feel here, loves, is that, Taurus, somebody was around you and they were scared to trust you. It felt too good to be true. They went towards something more materialistic or something that was more surface level, shallow as shit. But they're understanding that there's a, there's a romance of a lifetime. That's with you. They want to reconnect with you. Somebody's remembering you. Somebody's starting to understand you. Somebody's starting to understand the connection that they've done some growing. They're going to free themselves from whatever the fuck this is. They're just like, uh-uh. Yeah, denial. They're freezing, they're freeing themselves from being in denial, being, being afraid to actually, like, show some type of affection, some type of, to be chosen to be loved. Someone here is feeling that. I was chosen to be loved. I didn't listen to my intuition. I acted like it didn't exist. I acted like I had the bubble guts. Now here I am surrendering to Taurus. Or crosswatch or however have you. Bottom of the deck. I want to balance things out. Taurus, a lot of you might be saying, hell no, don't come my way. Okay? Y'all know the song. Baby, won't you come my way? <laughs> Taurus, you probably like, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> don't come over here. Uh -uh. Things weren't good over there. Don't come over here. Taurus, y'all know who I used to be. If you've been on my channel for quite some time, I used to be the type of person like, I would not tolerate this fuckery. But Taurus, I think spirit's been lightening my heart these last couple of years a bit. Here and there. I will tell the fucking truth. I'm never going to leave from that. But I'm feeling here, Taurus, that somebody made a mistake. They did not understand their intuition was literally telling them that they, where they had it, they were free. Okay, where you were at. They were in denial. Okay, about going towards something they thought was better. 
Now they're surrendering to the journey. They want true love. They can give a fuck less whatever this person's offering. This person might have some material things going on or something like that. Or they make a lot of money or... Mm, right up underneath balance, Taurus, we have forgiveness. And you can always forgive someone, Taurus. Yeah. It's taking this person a lot of courage, Taurus, okay? To accept their true feelings for you. To accept your, their true feelings and make this change and end whatever the hell it is they're ending in. Whatever relationship they're ending, they're trying to begin a new one. Why, Taurus? Because this person's learned to appreciate what you give, what you provide. Okay? Somebody's going to be envious of this. The third party's going to be envious of this. But, Taurus, this person doesn't care because they failed to trust themselves. They failed to trust themselves. Why? Because they wanted abundance in a different energy. But now they're seeing what true abundance really is, Taurus. It's actually manifesting. Okay? Being grounded, manifesting in true love and happiness. That's where abundance is. And they worry, Taurus, okay? They worry, Taurus, that you'll be indecisive about them, Taurus, because now they're seeing you as their happiness, okay? I know that's a lot of cards, but baby, that's what I'm getting. They're afraid, Taurus. Someone's afraid to come towards you. Spirit, let's get the messages for Taurus, please. They're afraid to come towards you because they're afraid that... Oh, wow, okay. Oh, okay. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. They want freedom from this. They feel like they wasted their time. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. They want to be free. Oh, I don't need to... Spirit brought these out. The tower in the reverse. They want to rebuild. The tower that had fell, fallen, they want to rebuild that. We have the magician. Okay? And then we have the hermit. Somebody's manifesting time alone right now. Okay? So they can't get free from whatever this is. They want to reconcile with you. Somebody has plans for this. Spirit, give me something for that, uh, that magician. What are they manifesting? The Queen of Pentacles, you. They're manifesting you, Taurus. The Tower in the Reverse Spirit for Taurus. Yeah, look. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Seven of Swords. They're trying to escape something. They're trying to, like, literally sneak away from something. Hoping that it's not going to be any trouble. Like, they kind of... I'm not getting the energy like somebody here is being deceptive. Okay, I think that they're being a bit... Um, they want to they wanna get free from something as quick as possible without having to worry about, you know, having to really sneak and do it. But they got to find some type of way to do it. Okay? It's a bit conniving toward it. But it's like the easiest way they can find, they're going to do it. Okay? They want to balance this out with you. That's all they know. Denial, spirit. Denial. Yeah, somebody was holding on to something that wasn't even really nothing worth holding on to. It's, just, it's not there. It's not there. Whatever they were doing here, not trusting themselves, whatever they were doing, not feeling balanced or whatnot, okay, this person might have been under some type of impression that you were trying to trick them. That This person's not used to somebody actually giving them kinds and acts of service. Somebody might hear, Taurus might feel the energy of, if you give me this or you give me that, that means you love me. Uh-uh. <laughs> In denial, like they weren't looking at it, okay? They were holding on to something tightly. All right, Ace of Swords. I'm not making it up, baby. It's the truth. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Aries. Okay. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Here, yeah, I'm telling you that somebody wants to come with some truth now. They want to free themselves from whatever the heck it is that they're in because they know where the true love is. Taurus, some of you reconnected with this person recently, and y'all may have had a conversation, and someone's feelings overflowed all over them, as if it was just a blanket or a sheet lift, just, you know, draped across them. Someone you might have reconnected with for a short second or a short time, maybe messages back and forth, maybe, oh, damn, you bumped into each other at the mall or something, and something here ignited something. Okay, five of cups. Five of cups. But we see four cups in front of this person, okay, upside down, dissatisfaction. There's a cup back here in the background behind this person, ace of cups. It's time for them to love themselves and be truthful with themselves, no longer being in denial. Okay, three of wands. They've been waiting for something like this. They just didn't know it clicked. Something clicked here towards you were catalyst to someone knowing the truth. Two of pentacles in the reverse. They're definitely not going to come in trying to juggle you. No thanks. No thanks. I think this person's done a lot of growth. Okay? A lot of growth. Yeah, look. Eight of Cups. Walking away from denial energy. Walking away from all the cups they kept trying to build with whatever connection or commitment this was. 
Okay, they're walking away from that and they're going towards the Ten of Pentacles. They feel like that's you, babe, okay? And Taurus, this may take some time. It's gonna take time for this person to figure out how to do this. You see the Rubik's Cube there? Is that what they call that? It's gonna take some time to figure it out, but this person's gonna, they're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. They're aware now. Somebody is completely aware with that Ace of Swords and that Four of Pentacles. I was holding on to what? Sadness? I was holding on to what? I, I was holding on to sadness. Listen to this. I was holding on to sadness, Four of Pentacles, when I knew the truth the whole time. Clarity. I needed clarity. I needed something, and somebody ignited this, Taurus, okay? Somebody ignited it. Then we have the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. I'm not going to juggle between happiness and and the truth, any sadness, and the truth anymore. I'm not going to do that. I don't have the energy. I don't have the energy. I don't want to do it. Okay. Three of Pentacles. I want to work with this person. Two Pentacles in the reverse, and three of Pentacles in the upright. A person. You know, there's three people down here, Taurus. That's what I feel. Two of Pentacles in reverse, three of Pentacles in the upright. Could be with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm ready. I'm ready to get out of this in the denial energy. I want to reconcile with the person that I I, I truly love. Okay, I truly love somebody and I want to give them what they gave me. I miss my soulmate, my person. Six of Cups here. This is past energy. Nine of Pentacles. They're going to surrender to being a sing of singlehood. They're going to take some time out to themselves. But this person feels very happy about this. They're coming back, Taurus. Someone's coming back. You may say, I don't want them. Okay, fine. You don't have to have them. But someone's seeing true love here. Yeah, the devil here. They had to look in the mirror repetitive thoughts the way they were acting the way they were doing things they were in denial this is a devil card capricorn energy okay and we all know what the devil is it's a liar they'll tell you whatever you want to hear okay but somebody here taurus feels like six of swords it's time for them to move on from where they're at okay it's going to be hurtful taurus not for the other person but for them too because they thought this is where they belonged they thought wherever they're at that's where they belonged okay they need to rest after this as well that's why they're taking this nine of pentacles. They're surrendering to the divine. They want true love, Taurus. Now, whether you give it to them or someone else does, it doesn't matter. But whoever this is, they're ready to be, to be free from whatever this commitment or engagement was. Yeah, look. Ace of Wands. Yeah, ready for new beginnings. Surrendering to new beginnings. Three of Cups. They're really open to reconciling. They want to reconcile with you. Somebody here wants to reconcile with you. As soon as they're done freeing themselves, okay, that's, that's what they want. They want to reconcile. Let's see where we can go from here, Taurus, if you'll allow. Okay. Two of Swords. This person might be blo blocked off. I'm seeing the, the Two of Swords here next to the throat. And I see that bandage over their face. So their third eye and their throat chakra, may, uh, their third eye and their throat chakra may not be aligned quite yet. But this is why they're taking this Nine of Pentacles energy to themselves. I gotta be honest, Taurus. I kind of respect this person, whether it's you or someone else. Because though it may feel like it's it's sad, this person is like trying to do things the right way. It's like they're trying to do it the right way. Yeah, the star. Healing. Healing energy. Okay, page of cups. Healing energy and wanting to be real with themselves. Okay. Wanting to be real with themselves. Wanting to try to look, you know emotionally with what it what is it that they're what was it that they were lacking within themselves to actually be in a connection that they weren't happy in what were they lacking you know y'all know how much i hate that punk ass cup that cup was kind of big so taurus that's why i didn't complain <laughs> that's why i didn't complain taurus in case someone was wondering surrender surrender taurus i mean surrender for spirit please for taurus surrender oh Queen of Wands. Wow. Going to get into that energy of having that confidence and self-esteem. They're building it. They're surrendering to the universe and it's making them feel really good. Okay, the High Priestess. They may not be telling you this, Taurus. You may not be talking to this person at this time. There may be no communication. But trust and believe me, somebody is very confident. They're very confident. And that's a good thing. They're very confident about what the uh, about the prayers they've made, the wishes that they've established with the universe. They're happy. They're happy. Ooh, look, confidence. We got the strength card right after the star. Okay, and then we have temperance. Three major arcanas back to back. This Perkin. This Perkin. Ooh, somebody likes perks. 
I'm kidding, Taurus. Um, these are three major arcana, so that means like there's a big change going on here. There's transformation. Three, it was the seven swords under freedom. So I don't want my Taurus to be bothered by that card. The Emperor. Bossing up. Like they, they're trying to do this as smoothly as possible. To have the cojones. So the cojones, whatever. They're trying to have this energy about themselves. They're trying to pump themselves up. How do I get out? You know, the, you know, trying to like, you know, hey, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. You know, they're trying to pump themselves up. They really don't want nobody knowing about this, Taurus. I'm going to be honest. They don't really want somebody to know that they're leaving the connection because they want to reconcile with you. But it's not because they just want to reconcile with you, Taurus. It's because they actually love you. True love is here. Not a cups. Someone loves you. Yeah, and they want to bring balance. They want to bring balance here. Justice energy. Okay. Some of you might not accept this, but for those that are willing. Spirit, what's the Three of Pentacles? The King of Cups. Okay. Someone loves you and they keep it like put away inside some type of compartment. Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Could be a twin flame situation. It doesn't have to be, but someone's leaving something else behind because they want to reconcile with you. They want to free themselves. They want to balance this. They want you to forgive them because they're having a lot of courage coming forward towards accepting what their heart is feeling is to end something else, to go towards another relationship, a relationship where they felt they didn't show you enough gratitude, okay? Somebody probably envied you in the past with the love you had to give and they wanted to stick it to you or something like that and go be with someone else. Yeah, big regrets there because it didn't do shit. All it did was make them at the end want to be with you. You're like, Lauren, how the fuck is that a surprise? How's that a, how's that a prize? Well, it, it clearly isn't. It's not a prize, but, you know, two, three years ago, Taurus, you would have me sitting here like, fuck this person, da, 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 da. But Taurus, you know what? I think spirit has changed my views on things. And sometimes people make, you know, they make mistakes. And though we may not want to believe in that, we do as well. Everyone does. And I think this person is just, they went towards something else thinking it was better. Okay? And I know that's not your problem, Taurus, but you've never made a mistake in your life. Where, like, you regretted it later on after you got, you know, you started seeing things from a different perspective. It just took you some time to see it. I don't know. I think, I think my energy is going more towards respecting this person because of the way they're doing it. I trusted you. You may not let this person back in. Okay. And we have, I want you back. Clearly see that. I do love you. One more. I remember every detail of that day. Back of the deck. I hope that you can forgive me one day. So, Taurus, I truly feel like somebody here, babe, is not trying to just dump everything onto you and put it on your doorstep. I think they have, they really, truly want to reconcile, but they have to free themselves from something else. And very soon, they're going to be doing that. God dang. Taurus, this is going to be somebody from the way past past or somebody from the new past. You feel what I'm saying? New past, like recent, like a year ago. Shit, hell, two years ago. Deep past? Oh, I'm talking about years, like maybe 10 years ago. May not resonate with every freaking body, and that's understandable, but Taurus. I think you felt really sad and sick when this person did this. Spirit, I trusted you. Can I get a card for that? Yeah, Taurus, you were willing to give it to them before. And they slept on you. Oof. Will of Fortune, but again, things are changing. Things are changing. Yeah, now look, things are changing. Now they want to put in some work. Okay? Four cups. They're dissatisfied where they're at. Mijo, mija. They don't like it. Yeah, seven of cups. It took them some time to see it. You know, they fantasize about you a lot. Yeah, look at this. Taurus, the seven of cups with the sun. Ooh, wee. Can we be done with the Leo. Can we be done with the Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Dang, the star popped right back out. Taurus, they got wish. They got a wish that they want filled. They have, they're, they're needing a lot of strength to do all this. They hope one day you can forgive them. They're afraid to contact you, whoever this is. They're afraid to contact you. Tell them, Taurus, I think you're my true love. I wish we could go back. Mm. For some of you, this person's doubting that you even feel the same. Okay. They may feel like you have too much to lose to even come back towards them or they're afraid that you might think that what other people might think about this. Hmm. Regardless, they feel like you're their true love. So here, give me someone with their true love. Excuse me. From Taurus. Spirit. What? Taurus. The sun. I told you they fantasize a lot about you. Temperance. Oof. They're going to be patient with this process because they want you. They want you back. Spirit, give me something for engagement. What's this engagement shit? I mean, not shit, but you know. The Nine of Cups in the reverse. It's not what they wanted. Six of Cups. They want you. Taurus, baby. This has been your reading, Taurus. Okay, my loves? Taurus, I love y'all to the moon and back. Please remember to take care of yourselves. Love yourself. Trust yourself. Nala's also saying it. I want you guys to take good care of yourselves, Taurus. Have a fantastic weekend. Anything you need to know, babes, is in the description box. I love y'all to the moon and back again, Taurus. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sending all the love and healing vibes to you guys as far as it can go. I love y'all. Bye, Taurus.